Example 4, you are given this. Evaluate 2x plus quantity 3y minus z, close quantity, plus 7. Parentheses is also read as quantity. Or open parentheses and close parentheses, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so if you want to solve this problem, okay, the first thing you need to do is, Ray, substitute. Walk me through it, Ray. Copying 2, and I need to substitute the value for x. Kira, walk me through this. I'll make this into a bracket because we have a lot of parentheses inside. The bracket is just the same as parentheses. It's just to differentiate between the parentheses and the bracket, but they're the same thing. 3 times... Four, good. And then close bracket. There you seven. go. Oh, there's a seven? Yeah, that's right. There's a seven right there. So two times five plus bracket, three times two minus four, close bracket plus seven. Second step, what do we need to do in the second step? Okay, good, but first, before we do that, According to our order of operations, what do we need to do first? The brackets. The brackets. Good. So we'll, we'll leave it. Leave this as 2 times 5 for now. Bring that down. Then we solve what's inside the bracket. What's inside the bracket? Do you know? Uh, 6 minus 4. 6 minus 4 plus 7. Let's do it step by step. Next step. Rachel? Okay, so 2 times 5, I still bring that down, plus 2, plus 7. Next step. Rebecca? Good, that is 10. Bring down the 2, plus 7. Then it's all addition. What do you do after that, Gavin? Left to right, that's 12, plus 7. Let's extend this longer, this becomes 19. And that's how you evaluate that particular expression. The important thing probably to remember is step number one. A lot of you will try to go to step number two right away. Okay? Make sure you do step number one before proceeding to step number two.